Okay, today I'm excited to share with you how I did this eye look over here. I've got some new uh, colors on my eyes and for today I wanted to just show you kind of how I take my five minute face and turn it into more of a date night look. And um, as you can tell, I am missing some eye shadow on this eye. So I'm gonna show you how I applied this eye color um, uh, to my eyes here. So. Anyway, welcome back and thank you for joining. Remember to like and comment, um, share this video if you find it helpful. And uh, remember, I'm going to be doing drawings for some free products. So every time you like, share, and uh, you know, tag a girlfriend, you are going to be entered to win um, the drawing. So I'm excited for that, uh, for one of you to win some free products. So, okay, so what I wanted to remind you of is, is my, my five minute face, as you know very quick. Uh, I do apply my foundation. I have a little bit of under eye corrector and concealers because remember we talked about the foundation and how important it is still to use um, a concealer and under eye corrector. Absolutely love that. It just helps to brighten up the skin, take away any shadowy areas underneath the eyes, not make you look like you haven't had any sleep. Um, it will brighten your eyes and make you look like you had a great night's sleep. And, uh, and then also to um, cheek color, which I already have on both uh, cheeks. And I do have my eyebrows done as well. So I'm going to be talking to you guys tomorrow about how to do wow brows and, uh, and doing some awesome lips too. So I've got some things I want to share with you about that. But for today, I wanted to concentrate mostly on the eyes. So this would kind of be a daytime into nighttime look. And, um, what I'm going to actually do is uh, show you uh, a little bit of this palette here. This is a new um, eyeshadow palette that uh, we have for the fall. And I actually am going to be using two of the colors um, from the palette in this look today. Okay, so remember our primers. We have to have our eye primer on, even our foundation primer, of course, but definitely our eye primer applied before we apply our 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 eyeshadow. Okay. So, um, first and foremost, though, we need to talk about tools. We got to make sure that we have the right tools. Mary Kay, we have, um, oops, we have a great brush set. It's actually five brushes and it comes in this brush set, um, little clutch here and it's super cute. It's got these five, five brushes in it. There's an all over powder brush. There is a cheek brush. And then also in the kit is, um, this one's called an all over shadow brush. There's also my, one of my favorites, a eye smudger brush. And then there's also an eye crease brush. So these five are actually included in the brush set. Um, however, there are a couple others. We have um, uh, this one, which is actually more of a concealer um, shadow well, it's a concealer or a cream color applicator. Um, so you can apply cream shadows with it, uh, concealers, um, even lipstick. Sometimes people use this particular brush for that. And then this is a new one to our line and it is an eye blending brush. I like this one because it's got a little bit fluffier end. So it's just nice to kind of blend everything in together. So I really like this brush. Now, you're gonna need more than probably these brushes, right? You might need like two eye blending brushes and you might need two of these cream um, shadow brushes or the um, this is the wedge brush for your crease. You might need multiples of them, okay? And then of course we have our awesome brush cleaner. So we do have brush cleaner, which is essential to make sure your brushes stay nice and clean. Um, but tools are important. Then we also have um, palettes, of course, like I, Kind of showed you here this is our sunset palette that we've got for the fall and we also have um, a pro palette um, so this one houses lots of colors yes this is my personal palette and uh, i love it because it's magnetic on on the inside of it so you can um, basically design it however you want to but we do have two other smaller compacts as well so i love the fact that you can just mix and match and put together whatever you need i mean we literally have a petite palette that's only houses i think four eyeshadows um, and then we've got this one which is more of a uh, a glam uh, palette so you can have um, multiple colors in there you could even have pressed powders in there bronzers things like that that you can all customize into the pro palette so 
Okay, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, all right, so right here, um, I wanted to just show you, I think I've got one, two, three, I think I have four colors on my eyes right now, or this eye. So I'm going to show you first, of course, on this side is going to be a color called Biscotti. And Biscotti is great. It's a matte color. And I'm actually going to be using this um, brush here. And I'm just kind of tapping it on my eye. I did apply just a tiny bit of concealer on my eye as well, on top of the eye primer, just kind of to mat out the color of my eye. Um, sometimes I like to do that, not always, but so that's Biscotti and I'm literally applying it from the lash line all the way up underneath my brow. The reason I'm going underneath my brow is because it's a matte shadow. Um, so it kind of acts as a, as a highlighter up here. I don't want to put any shimmer in this area, but, um, shimmers can be can be used kind of in this general area which is one of the last colors i'm going to be using um, is a shimmer just to kind of help uh, pop at the end but the biscotti is a great matte color just for a base um, and then the second color is hazelnut probably one of our most popular colors it looks fabulous on everyone and this is going to be a contouring color so that means it's going to go in the crease of the eye so i'm going to go ahead and just apply it right here it's always so fun trying to do this in the <laughs> in your phone. Um, but hazelnut is a great neutral. Now, on my five minute face, I may even just use this hazelnut in the crease. You guys know I love Sunlit Rose. That's my shimmer um, five minute face look. So there's that. All right, so you can see just that, how it defines the eye. It just gives you a little dimension so you're not just matted out. Um, with just that highlighter color. So uh, for for a basic eye look, hazelnut in the crease like this, I mean, just look how beautiful that is. It's very, very nice. Um, little sidebar, sometimes I use that hazelnut in my brows as well, so you can use a shadow in the brow. Um, but I'll be talking more about brows tomorrow, so I can't go there. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm gonna do, so we have our mid-tone and then we have um, our base color kind of slash highlighter there that I'm using. And then next up, what I'm going to use is this new color here, and I'm gonna use this wedge brush. Um, this one is Purple Vibes from the new uh, palette here. I love purple. Purples look great with green eyes, so that's probably why I tend to look for purple. But what I'm doing is I'm kind of just going up on the end here and just kind of tapping with the brush going up like that. Don't freak out when you see it, everything's gonna get blended in. But you have to kind of get the color on the eye first, tap it out, and then we're gonna blend, okay? So, all right, so then we take our handy dandy blender brush and we're gonna blend it out. Just like that. See how it just softened it right up like that, but it gave it a little bit more intense color. And in fact, I probably, I did a couple layers of this color on the other side, so just to kind of help match it up. Our colors are chroma fusion. That means that they're life proof, <laughs> they're crease proof, and they last for all day, like literally 24 hours. These guys are gonna last on your face, on your eyes, especially if you use that eye primer too. All right, so now we're getting a little more dramatic, right? Date night look. So there we go, kind of blend that out. Um, okay. So there we go. How are we doing matching wise? It's always so fun trying to match, especially on a phone. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. All right. So now what I want to do is get um, a little bit of my magic marker <laughs> on my eyes. So this is our liquid eyeliner pen. I love this pen because it gives you a chance to apply liquid liner and if you are someone who has a challenge in that area I promise you this is the pen to use so as you can see it's kind of literally like a sharpie and what you're gonna do and hopefully you can see this I'm looking in a mirror I have to do this in a mirror I'm doing short little strokes across my lash line and as you can tell too, I do have a little mascara already on. 
If I was really gonna glam it up, I'd probably apply false eyelashes for like a major, major event, fancy. But this one is just kind of date night, no false lashes. But anyway, look at the difference in just that. And as you could see, hopefully it's just short little strokes. A mistake I see a lot of people do is they try to do it all in one swoop. And that's where you're gonna get frustrated because it never looks perfect that way. But if you do the short little strokes, it's a little bit more forgiving and using this type of applicator is key. And then what I'm going to do is apply my eyeliner. I am using black because it's a little bit more, you know, date night look, right? And I'm going to apply it up into my lash line like that. I'm going to go up and over and then I'm going to go under here and across like that. What a difference, right? So that just kind of completes the eye look, I think. <laughs> so the last thing that I'm gonna do is show you the pop of color that I like to do with a little shimmer. And I am using from the new palette, uh, Golden Possibilities. And I'm gonna take just a little dab of this one. Sometimes I would use a smudger brush for this technique too, but I'm gonna use this one because it's handy. So what I'm doing is I'm just going right in the center there like that. See, just that little bit makes it pop. Pretty fun, pretty fun. Now I'm like hyper looking at my eyeballs here. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of the Scotty just like right there to kind of get that to soften a little bit. How about that? Okay, all right. I think we're good. Okay, the last thing, speaking of smudger brush, where are you, my smudger brush? What I'm going to do, the last thing, which I didn't have this on my eyes on, I didn't have it over here, but I think I'm gonna put just a little bit with the smudger brush underneath here, like that. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit under there. How's that? Ooh, that's kind of fun. All right, so there you go. There's my my like going out eye look. Um, you could change up the lip color. If you wanna go a little bit more dramatic with the eyes, you could go lighter with the lips. Um, I find on camera though that I need to have lips, otherwise I look like I'm completely washed out. But, um, but yeah, so many different options, right, for, um, for lips and just getting a little pop of color. So imagine you're getting ready to go out on a date. You can just take that five minute face and turn it into something a little more spectacular and a little bit more dramatic. So I hope you like this. So remember to like and comment and share and um, I will be posting the challenge for the day um, as well. So that way you can get another entry into my free product drawing. So Thanks so much for joining tomorrow. Remember, I'm gonna be doing brows and lips and giving you all the tips on that um, tomorrow. So I hope to see you there.